Hey guys, welcome back to the 401 Week for part two of cleaning up your Windows PC. Today we're going to talk about a program called Disk Cleanup. And this is a program built into Windows. And what it does is it removes temporary files that you do not need for Windows to run properly. This does not delete any of your personal documents or personal files. It's only going to remove files within Windows that are no longer needed to run efficiently. So Disk Cleanup, there's a few ways to get to it. I'll show you all of them. The first thing, if you're in Windows Vista or Windows 7, is just to click on Start. You can simply just type Disk Cleanup, and it'll be the first thing that pops up in the list. Or you could click on Start, go to All Programs, come down to Accessories, System Tools, and Disk Cleanup right there. And again, I'm going to cancel that real quick. And the last way is to click on Start or get into My Computer some way. If you have a computer on your desktop, that's fine. Open up your My Computer, left click on the C drive so we know we have it selected, right click, select Properties, and right here where this little pie chart we saw from Part 1 is located, right next to here is Disk Cleanup. So I'm going to click on Disk Cleanup and open it up, and we're going to see what files this is actually cleaning up for us. So we get this other window that pops up. And it's not, it won't let you resize this window, so you have to use this scroll bar. Make sure you're aware of this scroll bar because there's a lot of documents down here that's showing up that we want to make sure we get. So downloaded program files. If I downloaded a program and installed it, any program really, it's going to put those temporary files into this folder. I haven't downloaded anything recently, so it's empty. Temporary internet files. Anytime I get on the internet, the Windows is going to store part of that website onto my computer somewhere. I want to make sure I'm not keeping any of that. Offline web pages, again, something very similar. Recycle bin, if I've deleted files but not emptied my recycle bin, they're going to show up in here. So I could go do that myself just by right clicking on the recycle bin and clicking empty. Temporary files, that's just files within Windows. As we do our daily routine on our computer, it's going to put stuff in there. And the last few uh, nothing special so we could just click all of those and click OK it's gonna permanently delete all of these files and again it's not personal files it's not anything that is any in your document so this is perfectly okay here alright so that deleted a little bit of the temporary files within Windows but there's also another option hidden under this little menu so if we click this cleanup again and again, we just did this, and there's already some things in here. So we could do this a thousand times, and some of these files are still going to stay. And that's perfectly fine. But right down here, it says Clean Up System Files. If we select that option, we're going to get some more things we could choose from that are within the system of Windows itself to delete. Some of them we want to be very careful what we're doing with them, and I'll show you that in a second. So as this comes up, we're going to see a lot of the same things we just saw. Downloaded program files, temporary internet files, recycle bin, and then we get this service pack backup files. Now notice how large that file is, 920 megabytes. That's almost one gigabyte, and that's okay if we come down here, um, some other errors, temporary Windows installation files, uh, all of this I almost have one gigabyte of free space. Now you have to be very careful, this service pack backup, if I were to delete that, that would delete all of the backup files that Windows created when I installed a program to do a system restore. So if I were to click OK, actually I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm going to hit cancel for a second and open this back up to get to that previous screen. The, that backup files Windows creates is what's there for Windows to restore to an earlier point in time if I have issues with my computer. Now what I want to be careful of though is that system backup files. So what we can do before we clear out our backup files is we can click on this more options. And this says programs and features. If we can remove or clean up our disk space by removing programs we don't use. If we click that, look where we're at, where we were earlier for the first part of this series. But down here it says system restore and shadow copies. Now this tells us right here we can remove more space, as you saw, almost one gigabyte, which is a lot of space. But it tells us to be very careful because it will also delete some of our backup files. So it says this might include shadow copies of older versions, PC backups, um, 
you can remove all but the most recent restore point. So if I click clean up, it's going to say, are you sure you want to do that? And I'm going to wait a second because I don't know if this is exactly what I want to do just yet. And what I mean by that is there's a few more parts to this series. Before we do a system restore or excuse me, before we get a perfectly good backup to do a system restore from, I want to make sure I've removed all the programs that I definitely do not need back up some of my files in case something were to mess up during a system restore and maybe just make sure there's nothing going on with my computer before I do a backup. If we're starting off from a bad backup, then we're going to have issues further on down the road. So I would want to make sure I make clear out all any viruses that may be infected on my computer and that'll be further on in this series. So we don't want to do that just yet. But we could do the rest of these programs under here. Again, it's not too much. That backup files is what really takes up a lot of space. So I'll just click clean up and it's going to do the same thing it did with the first disk clean up. It's going to take a few seconds. Um, depending on how often you use your computer is going to determine how often you actually need to run disk clean up. Obviously, the more you use your computer, the more you're going to want to run this program and get rid of files that Windows has created back in the, in the background. Um, I do not suggest run it more than once a month. I generally do mine maybe once every three months and you at least want to do it twice a year just to make sure you're cleaning your computer up on a frequent basis. Um, so every program we're going to talk about is going to be different time frame. Again, just clean up once a month, once every three months, somewhere up in there is a good number to start with. If you have any questions regarding this program, please let me know in the comments. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.